Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here, I hope you're all doing very well. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is exploring a new Trello-like application called Zenkit. Now it's an application that I've been meaning to review for a while, it's come up on my radar several times, and it's also been one of the sources that many people have recommended in the comments, so I try my best to try and cover these applications, uh, but as you can imagine, it's, it's fairly busy with uh, the amount that I get recommended. So with Zenkit, it's a fairly new service. Um, it's aimed to, it came out last year, and its aim really is to try and fill the gap between uh, like being able to use Kanban tool, but also being able to use it in a team situation and be able to organize yourself uh, effectively. Now it's sort of really flexible as well, so when I was actually testing the service, uh, I found that it actually was able to have a lot more views in Trello because I think one of the biggest issues is the view and layout options in many of the to-do list applications and project management applications out there because having those views really does uh, affect it. So let me just give you a basic overview of the features. We'll talk about the price. Uh, we'll talk about uh, and some places to get it at the moment, uh, where it's available, and also some of the integration. So as you can see, I've got myself set up on this board. This is one of the default boards they give you. Sort of wanted to demonstrate one with a full setup. So as you can see, this is a Kanban setup at the moment. So to do on the left, in progress on the middle, and done there. Obviously, you can add another list over here, which is quite cool. So uh, very completed. Very completed, very done. There we go, so you, you can create yourself a nice uh, list over here. The thing with Zenkit is actually web-based, so you'll have the experience all on web, which is pretty handy, I guess, actually being able to access everything all there. So as you can see, these are the to-dos over on the left-hand side. Once you click into each of them, you get this uh, panel on the right-hand side. Uh, so you can also change the position of them, you can copy, move them to a collection, very similar to Trello, so once you click into it on this, you have the ability to change the due date. Uh, the due date is very simple to change to. Uh, you just move ahead and you can actually have a start time too. You can it change the state of it, which is obviously the location in the Kanban board, the importance of it, the estimated time to complete, and you also have this activity field as well. You've also got the ability to have a custom field with any of the other formulas, algorithms, links, and things like that. So you can actually customize that field to whatever you like. And you have actions in the top right, so you can actually add any more custom fields, checklists, and actually subscribe. Uh, especially when you're in Teams, you want to be able to subscribe and have uh, notifications on each. So if I drag this one, I can see that it moved to the separate board. I can add items at the bottom, and I can see at a glance the due date, the priority level, and also the amount of time it's going to take to complete that task. So up in the top right-hand corner, you can actually see the filters. So you can filter through any field, so enter text, any field contains um, boxes. So that's specifically um, any field that has uh, boxes in the title. In the corner, you've got Kanban, so you can actually obviously have it in Kanban view, but you can have it in list view as well if you wish. You can actually change the item size, the image position, which is very impressive. Uh, list view, that is. Of options, you can actually change the details of a Kanban board, which is very impressive. Um, a very nice customizable feature. As I was saying before, it's a very flexible setup. So you've also got table view as well. So you can actually see the visible columns and you can see them downwards, which is quite nice. Um, again, being able to give you these layouts are super handy. So calendar view is another one as well. That's obviously a power up inside of Trello. So this is actually something that's built in. And you can actually have them appear in dates, uh, which is very handy. You can have it in mind map view as well, which again is something very interesting. You can actually drag them onto the board and uh, you can drop items there, there we go, and you can move them about uh, based on these connections. So you can connect up things, uh, connect up things, and have them connect up with stuff, which is pretty impressive. So you've got this way to view stuff at a glance. You've got search up here, so you can search your collections. So the idea is collections, you have all of these collections here. Uh, members, you can add different members, you can change the theme as well. Uh, they have a couple of custom ones, but the customs are on the plus. You've got themes and images there as well. And you can see any activities that have happened in your group so that you can keep track of everything. Now, going over to profile, you've got a bunch of tutorials and documentation on there. So if you're feeling stuck, then you can find everything. 
Um, but you can change the theme and information on the cus on the profile. There are also integrations uh, with Google Drive, Dropbox, and Box, as well as Zapier as well. So if you want to transfer data between Zapier, but uh, you can automate those workflows using Google Drive and Dropbox by connecting the apps because the data will transfer over. So if you've created this really intricate table inside of Google Drive and you want to be able to import it into Zenkit to be then convert it into like a table view or a Kanban view, then you can. So it has that customization, which is pretty impressive. So the other thing that you can do is obviously set up teams. So the team setup is obviously um, something that you have to pay for. So with the personal account, it's free. Um, you get up to 2000 items, which I think is reasonable and a gigabyte of storage in your collections. So if you want to add any files, then you've got that up to amount. Uh, you can share a collection or a board up to five people, which is pretty good. So the personal, if you're looking to get started, is a great option. Plus is $9 per month, uh, 5,000 uh, per user. Uh, so for example, uh, if you want 5,000 items, so items count as anything in here. So just anything uh, of that kind. And also up to uh, five gig storage and up to 20 people can share it. Uh, you can share the board with up to 20 people. Uh, you've also got some of the custom features which allow you to, you know, use the filterization system, database, search, and other Zapier filters as well. You've also got a business one, so twenty-nine dollars per member per user per month, which is a hundred thousand items and also twenty gigabytes uh, and unlimited amount of sharing to other people. Um, so the I found this experience pretty impressive. I mean. It's not a massive, uh, I think it's a Trello competitor, but because it's only available on web at the moment, um, it has some amazing view and it's got so much potential with this layout. Um, but I believe it's a up and coming Trello competitor that could take on the market in the next couple of years. Now, I found it very useful. The one thing I would like to see is what it would look like on devices. So once we've got it on an iPhone and actually be able to check it out on there, that's something that's going to be a game changer, especially because Trello's experience is like downsized and not pretty incredible yet. So there is a free option. So I'm going to include all the links in the description so you guys can go check it out. Let me know what you think of it i'm really looking forward to hearing back from you guys uh, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it's free and you'll get regular videos on tech productivity resources that you guys can use in your daily routine but thank you very much for stopping by everyone i really appreciate it so make sure to have a great week keep productive and i'll see you guys very very soon cheers